Well, the QCA is home to just one of 15 presidential libraries across the entire country, and today they had a special guest visiting who wants to take their history into the 21st century. TV6's Joshua Blount was there today and shows us how $20 million could help transform Herbert Hoover Presidential Library. The Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and Museum is home to some of our nation's most important history, enough to give someone a new experience each time they visit. We want everybody to get something new from the Hoover story when they come here. We believe we're able to do that with every visitor. On Thursday, the museum got a special visit from Dr. Colleen Shogun, one of the top historians in the country, and can appreciate just how special the artifacts in this building are. I am a scholar of, of presidential rhetoric, so I always like seeing speeches that presidents gave and in particular when they write on the speech so they're actually you know the speech was maybe drafted for them they're making changes and sometimes you saw here even with President Hoover's speeches he was uh, doing hashtags probably to tell him where to pause and where to make emphasis and Shogun wants to make sure this history is preserved and available to as many people as possible so the next uh, challenge here at a place like the Hoover Library is getting those materials online and digitized so uh, that's something we will be taking back uh, as I travel back to Washington DC and evaluating some of the resources that can be brought to bear here to the who uh, brought to bear here at the Hoover Library that's not the only new thing happening at the museum in a couple of years this space will be unrecognizable it's basically a 20 million dollar project that will provide more space for our visitors number one but also completely revamp the museum galleries the way that they are now so everything that you see within our galleries with the exception of the artifacts themselves it will be unrecognizable. The museum staff says they are planning to shut their doors for the renovation in the early part of next year and reopen in 2026. In West Branch, Joshua Blount, TV6 News.